Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Quick channel update. I just want to let you guys know I'm probably going to be reducing my video output to about two or three videos a week. The reason being, I'm going to be traveling a lot for the rest of the year. And with me bouncing around and having a little bit of a different lifestyle, it might be a little tough to put out four videos. So we're going to shrink it to around three videos a week. I'm also thinking about putting out a free but limited number of people in the discord where i can share different kinds of information for different kinds of trades it's not going to be so much about the big caps the large cap it's going to be more risky stuff it's going to be for market caps under around three million if you guys are interested in that let me know i've been messing around with it a little bit and i've had a lot of success with it recently so it's a place where i want us to share alpha if you guys have any kind of information i could verify it and see whether the chart looks good, whether the information looks good, because there's a ton of information out there and it's a lot for one person to handle. So just checking things out, getting a feel for how you guys feel about it. I'm sure some of you guys would be interested in that, but I'd probably cap it to around 100 members. So for now, it's just an idea. Let's talk it out. If you like that idea, put it down in the comments and then we'll get a feel for you guys. But as for today, we're going to take a look at Polkadot. And because I've been looking at the BTC pair with you guys for a while and we finally hit the red support line which is the stronger support line i was aiming at i didn't think we were gonna really get there but we did bleed a lot on the btc side and in general the btc side has bled for the past you know let's call it almost three months and usually when polka dot bleeds for that long we get a little bit of a bounce if not a reversal at this point because guess what let's zoom out and take a look at the chart from the bigger picture and see that last time where did we bottom out before our run well we bottomed out exactly at this point you guys can see we are exactly at this point so the reason why i'm expecting polka dot to bounce quite hard if not reverse is because it's down about 40 percent from its last high and the last time it did that it gave us a nice bounce you know i'm not sure if this is 40 percent. this is 30 percent. so we're even more overextended and just like we can get overextended to the upside, we can definitely get overextended towards the downside. And given that we're on critical support area, it just makes sense to get a bounce, a slight bounce, a 30% bounce, which would translate into a bigger bounce on the USD pair. But we have a lot of work to do on the chart. So I realize I'm calling this early, but there's solid potential on the dot BTC pair to say that, okay, we are at the point where a bottom potential is here. Not only that, but we also have the inflation numbers coming in this Wednesday. So that'll be a catalyst if it comes in lower than expected. And I do think that the alts are gonna run if BTC can crack above 32K. The only thing that worries me about the alts over here is the Bitcoin dominance. As we can see over here, we have the Bitcoin dominance trying to break out. And if it does manage to break out, the alts are going to continue to bleed. So there are scenarios in which the dot PTC bear can keep bleeding, but the alts have been battered down and a lot of them are set up to go. I mean, if we take a look at Chainlink, Chainlink is one that has been in accumulation for almost a year now. Let's just take a look at that chart for an example of what I'm talking about. You can see we've been trading sideways for a year. And if this doesn't break down, then the alts are absolutely going to get smashed. And when I said break down, I mean break up because we're reaching do or die time over here. Either we break this accumulation and it's not accumulation, we're just going to break towards the downside, or we actually finish this accumulation pattern and head towards the upside. So it's do or die time for the alts. And we can also see that on the Bitcoin dominance chart, like I said, it's at the peak level of resistance. And if we do manage to break that, then DOT is going to keep falling. And 5.3 is support as we've seen it happen over here we bounced off of it here we bounced off of it as well the last time we bounced off of it slightly but you know it didn't hold and we broke down so i really want to see dot start making a move towards the upside and actually break this downtrend over here get above these moving averages and that would be extremely bullish but we've got so much work to do that i realize i am being extremely early on calling this the bottom so take it with a grain of salt right now but if we do manage to see green candles starting to come out and we head towards this area, I would expect us to have a high likelihood of breaking it, pulling back and moving towards the upside, simply because the BTC pair has been battered down so much for the past three months. If we take a look at the dot F pair, which is right there, we can see the same thing, a 37% drop to the downside. How many 37% drops have we had without a bounce? Let's take a look. That's a 31% drawdown. 
and we got a 30% bounce. Over here, this is a bigger drawdown, as we can see, but this one had a huge pump to the upside, but let's measure it. So that's a 42% drawdown. So pretty close to our 37, not too far, 5%. Okay, let's say we drop five more percent. We should get a bounce eventually. So this one's a little bit of an anomaly because it had a huge run up. I'm not sure what that announcement was about, but let's take a look over here and see what kind of bounce we got. We got a 30% drawdown and then we got a 15, 20% bounce. We haven't had any kind of a bounce so far, absolutely none. So what I'm saying is we are due for one. And if it comes, we're gonna get something like this, a pullback and then potentially that's when the reversal happens, when we break this downtrend that we've held for almost, I wanna say seven, I'm really bad at this, seven months. Seven months of downtrend power to the downside. So I'm just making up words at this point. But the point is, guys, is we've got a lot of work to do for us to actually break here. But this is the point at which I want to see alts perform specifically dot because it's at a critical point on the chart. If we do fall and break down below here, I don't see any support points that are going to be easily found. Instead, we're going to go find support. So it's going to be a guessing game as to where to go. Whereas right now, even if we do dip down below, I want to say let's reclaim it in a couple of days. I've seen that happen before because this is such an obvious level to confuse people. We should dip down and then get back above, reclaim and start moving towards the upside. That is also possible. But I don't really want to see us spend too much time down here. So that's what I'm looking at for polka dot. And I do think still you know, if, if this does end up running and we end up bouncing pretty strong, it should easily get us to about 7.7. .7, and that's going to be the next resistance area, which I think we will simply dip down and then break up the second attempt. The first attempt is going to fail. Second attempt usually breaks it and we should easily head to 10.6 once step one and step two are confirmed. So step one, break this downtrend. Step two, touch this. Step three, hold above here or somewhere close to it. Step four, I think we're on step four, break towards the upside. And if it gets really bullish, which you know in crypto wouldn't surprise me, then 16 should be easily achieved as well. And as we know, crypto likes to run. So 176%, not outside the realm of possibilities. If we take a look at another coin that is just as big as DOT or close enough to it, and we'll remove all this stuff, we can see that, okay, 60% pump is more likely than a 170% pump. So let's do a 60% pump just to simulate what that would look like. And a 60% pump takes us to about $9. So about 80 cents off the $10 mark. We'll see what happens. We still have a ton of work to do, but that's my current outlook for DOT. The fundamentals are stronger than ever. I'm seeing a ton of adoption happen on DOT. People are moving from Ethereum to DOT. There was a post I saw recently about Mythical moving to Polkadot, powering the next generation of gaming. And as you guys can see over here, Mythical Games, the number one gaming blockchain and top four blockchain for all monthly digital asset sales is leaving Ethereum to launch its new Mythos ecosystem on Polkadot. So that's pretty bullish. Uh, I've never heard of Mythical before, but based on what I'm reading and seeing, it's a pretty big deal that they moved on to Polkadot. It's showing that the way of gaming is going to be on Polkadot simply because I'm guessing the transactions on Ethereum are too expensive to have a game built on there, which makes sense. Gas costs are about $100 right now for a transaction, which is wild. But yeah, there's a lot of development still happening on Polkadot. So under the hood, besides the price action, it's looking pretty good. And I expect price to follow fundamentals. So that's currently the game plan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. But that's it for now. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.